Welcome back everybody for another Blade HQ overview. Today we're going to be taking a look at Wii Knives. Now these guys are out of China and since you may not be familiar with them I want to do a, a full unboxing. So there's the box inside you're going to get this nice Ziploc pouch. And uh, we're going to be looking at the 601 and that is not Levi's jeans that's the uh, name of the knife or the uh, number. Uh, inside here some specs and uh, contact information. Um, Nice padded pouch, here is the knife, and then this is pretty cool. You get full additional hardware here, so, and a tool to be able to remove those. So an additional like pivot and screws. So if you want it in blue, or you wanna kinda customize the look, um, you can replace those little pieces of hardware. So very kinda cool little addition there in the bag. Now again, this is the knife from Wii, and uh, they were originally doing, they were a smaller manufacturer doing OEM kind of production and they've gotten a little bit bigger now. They used to be known as Waye Knives. Now they are We Knife Company. And this is the knife that we have to show you, this titanium flipper frame lock. So as you can see, really nice millwork they've done uh, kind of through uh, the uh, chamfering work there. Nice titanium backspacer with an integral a lanyard hole that even has the little guards or protection um, on the outside of the handle material. And then a milled pocket clip that's gonna give you a tip up right hand carry. So we'll give you a shot of that in the pocket. All right, so that's what it looks like when you are carrying the knife. Again, really nice attention to detail Really good CNC machining work here. As far as deploying the blade, uh, you do have that flipper. This runs on a ceramic ball bearing system, so it comes out nice and clean. Um, lockup is a frame lock. Does have a stainless steel insert in there, as well as an over travel stop. But nice and smooth. And then check out that blade. You are looking at an S. Uh, 35V in steel. This is a two-tone finish. They have it in satin as well as black. Kind of a cool tip on it. They were calling that a uh, uh, Tonto-inspired drop point. Nice big swedge all the way along the top. Very comfortable in the hand. Good ergonomics here. The way that it fills it. The little dip for the thumb and then kind of a long sweeping finger choil. Uh, very comfortable. Overall weight on these knives, you're looking at 4.66 ounces. And then lengthwise here, we have eight and three fourths of an inch, and the blade is a four inch blade. And we have several different models. I pulled out some to show you. So here is a, a black stone wash blade. Again, you can kind of see that cool grind work up towards the tip a little bit better on the black. Uh, a couple black handled versions, uh, the black handle with the black blade, a black handle with a satin. Now this one doesn't have that two-tone, you'll notice on that high kind of flat there, uh, it just has the uh, satin, almost has a, a bead blast feel. And then a couple blue ones. Again with a black blade, very nice looking and uh, a satin. So check out We Knives, the uh, 601 here, as well as uh, they have several pins, and these are available now. All you need to do is click that Check It Out button and go check them out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.